Praise the Lord. God bless you. What a privilege it is to be here today. I thank the Lord for all the things that he's been doing. And this is a very special time of the year, Christmas. And we have a very special presentation for you today. Yes. And it's wonderful. Healing and restoration for Christmas. Thank you for joining us. We're going to be reading from the book of St. Luke, chapter 2. So join us. And the word of God says, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary, his spouse's wife, being great with child. And it was so that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. There were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Praise the Lord. Such good news here. So today we want to tell you that you can have a very special healing and restoration for Christmas, Christ. And I'm excited about it. And uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about this text today, about this angel's announcement. The announcement was the birth of Jesus, how Jesus was born. And go with me now again in verse 10, as it said. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. What a wonderful thing. You know, I like that. The fact that God is a God that's impartial. He's for all people. And I don't know if you would like to just share concern. It's just so exciting to think that God is a God of all people. There, there's no prejudice in him. There's no injustice. He's, he's just a great, great savior. Yes, and he chose these uh, shepherds to announce what was going to happen on the earth. Mm -hmm. And as he was announcing uh, through the angels what was going to take place, mm -hmm. he says in verse um, Ten. verse 10, he said, do not be afraid. Now, the angels address the fears of the people at that time mm -hmm. as he's addressing our fears today. Mm -hmm. You know, today we're uh, fearful of the uh, pandemic. We're fearful of uh, uh, our finances and the uh, market crashing. We're fearful of um, being alone. We're fearful of not being able to mingle with family. Mm -hmm. There's so many fears that are going on now, but today mm -hmm. Jesus, uh, the angels are announcing to us that peace on earth and goodwill will come to men. And that is um, a joy to know that God care about us so much that he will announce to the angels mm -hmm a joy and a peace that we can have in the midst of everything that's going on right now in our lives. Mm -hmm. That is so interesting. You know, I was looking at the text there and he was mentioning about the shepherds. 
And they were saying how the shepherds were unreliable people. Uh, they, they would mix the word mine, thine, uh, you know, and uh, so they, they were not willing, to, uh, the law courts would not allow them to testify uh, in the law courts because they were unreliable. And I think that God would use shepherds to do the first announcement of, of his birth. Uh, God uses the unlikely so that his glory would shine more clearer. You know, and I thought that was so interesting, the shepherds. And, and again, as, 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 as the text says here, uh, the angel, this is what the angel says. Behold, I bring you glad. good tidings, mm -hmm. glad tidings. That's the gospel of, of great joy, which shall be to all people. Yes. You that are listening to us today, it's for you. If you have not received, it's for you too. You can have it. You can have it. It's for you, and God wants you to have it. And what's so uh, special to me about this text is when God said to all people, he's not just talking about the upper class. He's not just talking about those that are well off and don't have need of much. and mm -hmm. you know. But he's talking to every class of people. Uh, a people mm -hmm. that's on the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, he's talking about the poor, the middle class, the the upper class of society. He's talking to everyone because the riches of the true riches come through Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where the true riches come. They come through Jesus Christ our Lord. And he wants us to experience that true those true riches that come through him. And he chose to announce this good news and peace for all humanity. That those that are troubled, those that are weak, those that are sick, those that are hurting, when they hear the good news, when they accept it in their heart, God will make a change in that they cannot make in themselves. And that's good news. And it's so true. Now you mentioned social outcasts, or you mentioned all people, all classes. And I just want to tap into that because the shepherds were considered social outcasts. And here, God, he came to them uh, through the angel and shared the good news first to the social outcasts. Yeah. What a marvelous thing. And you know, the word of God tells us that, that uh, God chooses the foolish and weak things mm -hmm. of the world to confound those that are wise. Yes, he does. You know, so he he don't choose people because of uh, their strengths mm -hmm. or, you know, the special uh, talents they have going for them. But he chooses people uh, that are needy mm -hmm. and that are needing him and wanting him. Mm -hmm. You know, he choose those people to uh, so that he can be glorified, mm -hmm. that the world will know that it's not the strength of those people, mm -hmm. but it's the strength of God on them mm -hmm. that are, are being a blessing to humanity. That's so true, so true. And there are people today that you're listening to this uh, broadcast and you're lonely, you're feeling like an outcast. You don't have, maybe you don't have anyone at this time, at this special time of the year when people are gathering together and families and it just reminds you in a certain way, in a negative way, uh, that you're alone. But I want you to know that you're not alone. There is God and he wants to meet you in a very special way. Maybe you've uh, one that you are alone because, or you feel alone because you lost your loved ones, or maybe you've had a difficult year and you just feel financially all alone, or whatever way, but you just feel lonely in some in some way, form or fashion. Maybe you've your body's been racked with pain in such a way, and the doctors seem like they can't do you any good, and so you've just been suffering all year or years. I'm speaking to you. God's talking to you. You feel alone because it looks like, you know, who cares about my condition? And I, I can't complain anymore. I, it just seems like, you know, I'm just a victim. But God wants you to know that you're special in his eyes. And the good news is for you. Now look, yes, go ahead. And also that good news is that Jesus loves us. God loves us so much that he sent Jesus into the world to save us. 
and to fulfill our heart's desires and our needs Mm -hmm. and to heal us. And um, he never intended for a man to be alone. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not God's desire for his people to be alone Mm -hmm. or to be hurting. Mm -hmm. And so uh, he extends his love to us through Jesus Christ Mm -hmm. so that if anybody accepts him, They can be saved. They can be delivered. Yes. They can be delivered from the fear. Mm-hmm. They can be delivered from the fear of being lonely. Mm-hmm. They can be uh, delivered from the fear of death. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, because he come to live through us mm-hmm. and give us the hope, the hope that will remain until he come. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, the text further goes to say the announcement of the angel. The angel said unto you. It's born this day in the city of David. Yes. A Savior. I just love that. A Savior. A Savior. A Deliverer. Yes. A Rescuer. And my mind goes back to all the uh, types in the Old Testament, the Deliverers. You know, that Samson was one of those Deliverers and how he killed a, a, a thousand, slew a thousand Philistines with the jawbone of an ass. The Philistines were oppressing the children of Israel at that time. God raised up Sam, Samson and uh, Jephthah and Phinehas and Othnia. These people in the in the book of Judges that is mentioned. And uh, but uh, as I said, Israel would go into sin in captivity. They'd cry to the Lord. God would deliver them. He'd set them free. Yes. And, uh, but they needed a deliverer. They were in bondage to other nations, and they could not break free. Their strength had left them. The, their protector and, and deliverer had left them. And so uh, they needed help. And, you know, I'm thinking about how uh, uh, the times that we're living in now, uh, they were kind of similar to the times during that uh, Mediterranean world when Jesus came on the scene. Uh, civil war had been going on for 20 years. Uh, the the king, the uh, Roman Empire had been divided and bloodshed was for, for years. And uh, so there was so much civil unrest. The whole of this peninsula was in a very deplorable condition. Just like the times that we're living in now. And times may even get worse. And, but their people are so uncertain as to their future. You may feel that way today. You look at covid 19 and you you just don't know what's going to happen and maybe you've lost some loved ones in this process and your heart is saddened you don't know whether you'll be next fears fears but i want you to hear and receive the encouragement and the good news that we're offering today through christ jesus came as a deliverer and a savior and he's special at this time he can save he can heal he can protect you yes from the viruses he can protect you from from the things that you cannot protect yourself i'm thinking about the brutality i'm thinking about the the racial prejudice i'm thinking about the wars uh, the, the the fires i'm thinking about the the hurricanes uh, the storms that have taken uh, lives and just uh, uh, property uh, there's so much is going on now and so there's so much unrest and so much uncertainty but at this strategic time God wants to show himself strong yes on your behalf yes and he also won he, uh, he the angels are now peace on earth mm-hmm. and goodwill now I like to um, give a, a definition of peace mm-hmm. I'm gonna read it from mm-hmm. my Bible mm-hmm. It says, peace is um, a state of rest, Mm -hmm. quietness, Mm -hmm. and calmness, Mm -hmm. an absence of strife, Mm -hmm. tranquility. Mm -hmm. It generally denotes a perfect Mm well-being. Think about that, Mm -hmm. a perfect Mm well-being. That's wholeness. Yes. When you think of being having perfect well-being, there's the absence of fear, mm-hmm. there's the absence of strife. Mm-hmm. You know, um, somebody might have hurt you, and 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 you you holding grudges, and you're angry. Mm-hmm. You know, 
And when this is a time for us to come together, mm-hmm. a time for unity, uh, a time to heal. Mm-hmm. And this is what this season really is about. Yes. God wants us healed. He wants us whole. He wants us to have peace in our lives mm-hmm. and peace with each other. Yes. You know, so that there will be peace and goodwill mm-hmm. to all men. Mm-hmm. Not some men, mm-hmm. but all men. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yes, it's so available, you know, to all people, to whosoever will. Harmony, health, and well-being of spirit. That's that's what he offers. Not necessarily the peace from absence from war, which we see, but the peace, uh, as as uh, you just said, well-being and wholeness of spirit and body. And uh, I know there's someone listening today who said that sounds too good to be true, but it's not. It's no, not. It's- no, it's not. It's not. It literally happened. I remember uh, before I really came to know the Lord, I knew of Him. I went to church, but I didn't have a personal relationship. Mm-hmm. And at that time in my life, I felt like everything was coming against me and, and life had pushed me up against the wall and I had nowhere to go. Mm-hmm. But at that moment, mm-hmm. I cried out to the Lord, and I said, God, all I want is a peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And when I cried out to the Lord, he heard my cry, Mm -hmm. and he delivered me. He gave me a peace and an understanding about him that I never knew before. Mm -hmm. And that's when Christmas really became real to me, Mm -hmm. is when I experienced the peace that only God can give. Mm -hmm. The Prince of Peace has come, mm-hmm. that we might have peace mm-hmm. that surpasses all understanding. Yes, yes, marvelous. And the Bible says here further, And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, here again, to goodwill toward men. Now think about it. This good news was just too much for that one angel to announce because it would affect the entire world. So suddenly there appeared a band of soldiers. That's the heavenly host. A band of soldiers. There they were praising God and saying glory to God in the highest. Yes. Can you imagine a band of soldiers announcing peace wow. and not war? Amen. But that's what they were doing. They said on earth, peace. Praise God. Goodwill. Yes. Toward men. And that's good news. God is not angry at you. Contrary to what you might be feeling or what you might have been told. God is not angry with you. He came to save you. He came to rescue you to deliver you from the state that brought you low, from the conditions that beat you down. He came to lift you up. He came to bear up under that load that you've been carrying. That's what he wants to do. Healing and restoration for Christmas. You must receive this today. Christmas will never be the same never be the if same. you will receive Jesus Christ as your Savior and receive the healing from the brokenheartedness and the sorrows that you've been carrying. That's what God wants to do for you. It is good news. It's good news. It is good news. And I'm further reminded of the life of Jesus when he was here on earth. Yes. And when you trace the life of this deliverer, uh, fast forward it as you look in Luke 4, how Jesus came and went into the synagogue uh, and his inaugural speech, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because God has anointed me to um, heal the brokenhearted and to set at liberty them that are bruised, to proclaim good news to, to, to the, the captives cap- and the gospel to the poor and, and uh, to proclaim the year of God's favor. And he announced that and then he went about just doing good and healing all 
who were oppressed of the enemy. And you see in Matthew's gospel, he said, um, and he went about all Galilee, uh, teaching in the synagogue, preaching the good news. And then he said, healing all manner of sickness and all, all manner, manner of, of disease yes. among the people. He's the mighty physician. He is the gift that everyone can receive. He and died it. for everyone. Yes. My God. Yes. We need the saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we do. So I'm so grateful to God because uh, he came that we might have life. And the Bible says that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil, for the Father was with him. You know, a lot of people, uh, they shudder when you talk of demonic powers, but when Jesus came, it was a reality yes. in the then known world. And they got a lot of help because they acknowledged it. Sometimes we need to acknowledge that the forces that we're fighting is not our own selves. That's right. If we do and call upon the Lord, we may be pleasantly surprised that God is a deliverer and he will present himself as a deliverer to us. Yes. He came to give us help. He came to set us free from the bondages and the clutches of sin and Satan. Satan is a real foe. And he oppressed people's mind. He oppressed people in their body. He oppressed them by taking things from them. He oppressed them uh, in an emotional manner. He's, he's just that. And so what I'm saying is that in the same way that he does things like that, the mighty deliverer, Jesus yes. Christ, the Savior, has come to give us peace, wholeness, and well-being. And he is good at what he does. Yes. The, uh, Luke 4, 18 says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me mm -hmm. because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Mm -hmm. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, mm -hmm. and recovering of sight to the blind, mm -hmm. to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. That's good news. Yes. That's what the spirit of Christmas will bring to you today. Yes. If you will open wide your heart mm -hmm. and, and swallow your pride mm -hmm. and say, Lord, I want you into my life. Mm -hmm. I want this peace that the pastors are talking about. Mm -hmm. I want the, to know the reality of who you really are mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. That's a special invitation to you today. Yes. If you will cry out to God, mm -hmm. he will hear your cry mm -hmm. and heal you as you uh, look to him and have faith to believe that he will do all that his word say he will do. Mm -hmm. And his word does not lie. Mm -hmm. Amen. And as uh, uh, you were talking, I just sort of sensed that there, those that are listening right now, that yes. you're saying in your heart, this sounds really good. But I wonder if he will do that for me. Yes, he will. I want you to know that he will. And especially you. We're going to begin to pray now. Yes. And as we begin to pray, I believe you are going to receive something very wonderful. Oh, yes. Like you've never experienced in your life. Thank you. Because the message is from the Lord. And he so wants you to know how much he cares. And you've been in your state for a long time. Yes. And there's someone right now that I feel you have contemplated suicide. You don't need to do that. This message is for you. Stop. Do not even attempt to think that way anymore. Receive him today. And your life will drastically change. Yes. Drastically. I, I sense there. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You, you, you know. You sense what I'm saying because God is real. Yes, he He's is. He's real. He knows you. He understands what you've been facing. And he wants to rescue you from that. Let him today as we begin to pray. Our Father, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Touch that man, touch that woman that have contemplated suicide. Touch that 
those bodies that have been racked with pain, sickness, and disease. Yes, Lord. Touch those that have that are suffering from loneliness. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, they've lost loved ones. They feel so all alone at this time. Yes. They do not like this time of the year because it reminds them that they have no one. But this Christmas, yes. let them receive the special oh, yes, gift Lord. of yes. Christ. Yes, Lord. Oh God, healing for their soul. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release them, Lord God, from the guilt. Release them from the fears and the bondages oh, yes. of the mind and the oppression. Yes, Lord, set Break free. it now from them, Lord. Set free. And let them experience the divine yes. life of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. And now if you are listening, we want to take you one step further. Be sincere, yes. and you're going to experience a miracle right now. And that miracle is this. You ask Jesus into your life. Just say, Lord, come into my life. I believe the message that these preachers are preaching. Come into my life. Save me. Make me your child. Yes. Write my name in the book of life. Give me the strength and the power to serve you. Yes. And I will serve you for the rest of my days. Come into my life. Forgive me of my sin. Cleanse me now. Make me to know of this power and of this great peace and this love that they're speaking of. In Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer, then we're going to pray. My wife is going to pray. Now I'm going to join her. And for God's keeping and healing love for you. Father God, we thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you, Father. And hearing the cries of our heart. Yes, Lord. Thank you for ministering to those that have been listening. Thank you, Father. And those that have made a decision for you. Yes, Father. God, let them experience this peace. Yes. That comes only from you. Yes, Lord. Peace that the world know not of. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for upholding them. Yes. Strengthening them. Yes. And Lord, preserving them in mm. the times that we are living in now. Ah, uh, yes, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. God, we rebuke fear. Yes. Oh, God. And mm. we uh, rebuke worry. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And God, let the spirit of love just overshadow them. Mm. That would, they will not feel lonely. Yes. God, and that you will put and draw people in their lives that would be a blessing mm. to them. Yes, Lord. In this season. Yes, God. For your glory and for your honor. Yes, God. We thank you. Thank you. Because you love us. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God thank bless. You.